Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology expert. In this video, we will see how to customize the Key Clock X themes. Let's start. By default, Key Clock and Key Clock X comes with base and Key Clock theme. And the simplest way to design a new theme is to extend existing themes. Basically, you can extend either the base theme or a Key Clock theme based on your requirement. So further, we have the themes for accounts, admin, email, login and the welcome page. So in this video, we will see how we can do this uh, customization in the key clock. Let's see the demo. Now we are logged into the admin console of key clock in the realm settings. We can see there is a tab for themes. You can see my previous videos about the realms in key clock. So we can see login theme is there, account theme admin console theme, email theme and internationalization. So here we will see how to change the themes for a login screen. So by default as I was mentioning, so we have two themes, base theme and key clock theme. So what we need to do, we need to have a Maven project here. So those who have used key clock, they must be aware that they have used the traditional process of uh, placing the themes file or themes folder with the uh, custom themes. But in key clock X that process is not working. So for key clock X we need to build the jar file and the application or the project would be a maven project. Here you can see the src folder and the pom.xml. So first we will see the pom.xml. It will be a basic pom.xml where we are giving the only the group ID, artifact ID and the version along with the name. So you can see that custom theme demo is the artifact ID and custom theme demo name. And we we'll go to the SRC. So under the resources, we have two folders, one for MetaNF and one for theme. First we will check what MetaNF will contain. So here we will have keyclock themes.json file and in which we will specify the name of the theme and the types. For example, this custom theme demo, we are doing it for login screen. So the type would be the login. And if email theme would be there, then we would have written email. Now moving back to theme folder. So theme folder will have the name of the theme, custom theme demo, and this should match with our the theme name. So under custom theme, we have the folder for login because we are doing it for login. And if email would be there, then we would have the folder for email. So under this login, we will have one theme dot properties which will specify who is the parent class. Basically, we are extending the base. So it will refer all the base themes files. And in this base theme file, we are modifying the styles.css. So what exactly we are doing here is we are not touching the base theme files except styles.css and in this we will specify our values. So under the resources, we will have the folder for CSS and under CSS we will have styles.css and styles.css let's check. So this is our custom styles.css where we have put the background image as this one img background image and img folder is under the resources itself. So you can see, so all your images you can put in under the img folder. It is not mandatory, you can uh, rename it as images as well. So all you need to do is to refer over here, okay. So basically you can change all the content or the CSS content over here, right. For example, your form, right, KC form float is left, you can make float as uh, right or the you can change the width here. So all those things you can do over here. So I am not uh, talking about the CSS in this uh, tutorial, okay. So let us see what next. So now we have seen all the files what we require. So let us go to the custom theme and we will package this application as a jar file. So MVN package. So now it is building and yeah, build is success. So now all you need to do is just copy this custom theme jar file 
and place it in the providers folder under the key clock setup. So now server is down and then we need to just run the kc dot back with config. With this whatever the jar files which we have put under the providers folder that will be deployed or you can say configured. So now let's run our server. A server is started. So let's refresh this page. Okay. We need to log in. So we can go to the themes and because we have changed the login theme, let's see if it appears here. Yes, you can see the custom theme demo. We need to select it and save it. So changes are saved to the realm. Then let's sign out. Yes. So now you can see that our login screen is changed. Okay. So we will again log in here. Now we can change it to base theme, save, and then sign out. You can see this is the base theme which we have overridden. So here we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe the channel to get latest videos. Keep exploring. Thanks.